What's up, everybody? This is your boy Super and I'm back with part two of Engineer of Elvira Matuk. Sorry, sorry, it took so long and I cut the episode short. I mean, not cut it short, cut it long, and this one's gonna be nice and short for you because here we are. We're in the Coon system right here, and we're here to see Engineer Elvira Martuk. To unlock her, we needed. Oops. To unlock her, we needed three soon till relics that you get from the Guri system. The Naguri system. And right here, we're here to we're donate some Mar soon till relics to Mar Elvira Martuk. She's uh she deals in frame shift drives and shield generators. She she needs her soon to relics relics fast. So we gotta get going. It's a long night big long sight base. Yankee Oscar uniform flight control online. Welcome, Commander. Request docking permission if you wish to land. About to unlock our second engine here. Our ship's gonna be awesome. Clearance granted. Proceed to landing pad zero Locking our second engineer, Elvira Martuk. She wants soon tell relics, and we're here to donate them. <clears throat> Traveled all the way across the galaxy. Ah, uh, yeah, right. We actually didn't travel very far at all relative to the galaxy. Not even an inch. What do we got in this system? I didn't see. I was trying to hurry so we could make it in the video time limit. I only get 60 minutes to make the videos. That's why we're always getting cut off with the last couple seconds. Looks like there's nothing good here. Gas tank with water-based life. I don't even know if that's worth a lot of credit. It just sounds interesting. Alright, well let's head in. Engineer's Workshop. Right there. Elvira Martuk is a well-known explorer, although she is rumored to have once been a deadly assassin before heading out into the black. Some have claimed she needed to cool off after a particularly high-profile case, so when exploring, but Elvira denies it. She's fascinated by all things alien and has become an expert at spotting human fakes. Her reputation is such that her base is rarely troubled by freebooters. She believes in being self-sufficient and her tight-knit group grows all of their own food. Develop your relationship with her to discover another engineer. <clears throat> Buy modifications to unlock the next upgrade. Let's donate to Soon Till Relics. Access one. We got engines, shield generators, and FSD. By mod if you need my attention, Commander, you need to be, need to please me. The more we work together, the better our friendship will be. Thruster. Get. <clears throat> what is this? Do? So we can. Boost the integrity of our thrusters, which is like the durability. And what is this? It is power draw and mass requirements are sacrificed for better thermal handling and performance. Thermal load, power draw, and integrity are sacrificed for increased performance. And we can't afford none of those. Let's 
specialized legacy from we can't afford the good ones so I'm not gonna do the bad ones let's go to shield generators you can get kinetic resistance no enhance the low power shields the whole shield is stronger and it uses more lo less power reinforced shields this modification trades broken shield recovery time and energy requirements for stronger shields uh, thermal resistance so far it's either reinforced or enhanced low power that's the only ones I want so far module integrity is lost and mass is reduced with this enhancement to decrease power gener gener power draw and generate stronger shields I think I'm going to go in for enhanced low power shields instead of reinforced reinforced okay distorted shield cycle recordings needs one of those to generate the module it brings down the integrity of the module and the optimal hull mass one more time go on Choose an experimental effect. We can get fast charge. High speed charging units increase shield regeneration rate when active and forming at the cost of slightly weaker resistance versus all forms of damage. Multi weave. Reinforced shield weave structures increase resistance versus all types of damage at the cost of increased power draw and system drain. Force block. Kinetic resistance, no. Strip down mass, lowers the mass. Uh, I don't think I want lowered mass. We got low, low power drain, high, high capacity, I guess. Additional capacitors and projection nodes increase maximum shield strength at the cost of increased power drain. So, bio weave. Increased with increased uh, <clears throat> resistance, strip down mass. So, this one's the lower the mass, this one increases the integrity. This is kinetic resistance, this is thermo resistance, this is low power, this is um, and sh shield strength. Multi weave is just better resistance. So, so this uh, fast charge sounds cool, but multi weave. I don't know. I think the strength is all right. I think I should go for fast charge because my problem isn't never, never how fast my shield is taken away. It's how fast it recharges. That's always what my problem is. So I'm gonna go with faster recharge. Okay, faster recharge and enhanced. So let's go see if we can get the next one. Oh wait, let's see if we can get the second level. Yeah. This is awesome. I love having strong shields. And they recharge faster. Too cool. So let's change the effect or add another one. Okay, now change the effect. Let's see if we can get level three. Geranium. So it's our shields done. Why is it like this? Okay, we made it to the. Okay, we've already got our thrusters. Shields are. Do we need more Germanium? Yeah. FSD, let's see. 
faster boot sequence or increased range. We are definitely going to see if we can get increased range. And we can't. We're missing atypical disrupted wake echoes. And that is data that you get from scanning ships or private data points or any type of data points. So we can't do range. That upsets me. I really wanted to do that. Let's see if we can further upgrade our boot sequence. And we can't. We need a heat dispersion plate. What about shielded FSD? We can do that for now. Shielded FSD. Okay. Small increase to range. Okay, it does range a little bit. But other than that, it does the integrity of the FSD. I don't see that as very useful, so I'm going to just hold off on that. And that's all we get is those three. So it looks like I'm going to head out and see if I can get some germanium for these shields, because germanium is easy to find and we're on the last upgrade. I think I'll do that in a little, little video if that's alright. No need to see the contacts. Universal cartographics, here we go. 1,283,000 credits on page one. Nothing on page two. Alright, let's see what kind of uh, module she has. She has no hard points, no utility points, no core. She has thrusters, frame shift drive, and that's it in this section. You see what kind of stuff she has. Just normal thrusters? Okay. Just normal frame shift drives? I think I'll stick with my 4A. What about optional internal? She has shield generators, and that's it. Okay. So let's see if we can find some germanium real quick. All of, here's a bunch of landfall planets. If we go to the second tab while we're hovering over them and scroll down, right there in the bottom it says planet materials. This one has iron, nickel, chromium, manganese, Vanadium, anobium, tungsten, and antimony. Alright, so the next one. Iron, nickel, sulfur, carbon, chromium, manganese, phosphorus, zinc, cadmium. And the next one. Iron, nickel, sulfur, carbon, chromium, manganese, phosphorus, zirconium, cadmium. Zirconium is a uh, fake diamond, I think. And the next one. As iron, nickel, sulfur, carbon, chromium, manganese, phosphorus, selenium, cadmium. And the next one, iron, nickel, sulfur, carbon, manganese, phosphorus, zirconium. Okay, here's a bunch more landfall bodies. This one has sulfur, carbon, phosphorus, iron, nickel, manganese, selenium, germanium, molybdenum, molybdenum. Tin antimony. Okay, so this one's the closest, I think. Yeah, and it has germanium. And I should have my SRV still. Yeah. So let's go get some germanium. Get at least five or ten.
I can't believe I just had the mic muted. Well, what happened was we got three, three messages saying that we've unlocked new engineers. I knew that's what it was, and that's what I said. I said, on, I, I bet it's an invitation to the next engineer. And it turns out we got five, five new engineers. And well, I, I, went out, I read off all the things that they engineer. We got Zachariah Nemo, fragmentation, cannons and multi-cannons, Liz Ryder, missiles and mines, Marco Gwent, power plants, power distributors, Jerry Ishmak, mines, missiles, and scanners, Mel Brandon, laser weaponry, shields, frameshift drives, and engines. He does everything. Once we get him, we'll only need like one or two more to use. But I think that's all the engineers unlocked, I'm not sure. That's more than a whole page. That's so awesome that we got all the engineers. Stop muting the microphone. Unless I start edit ed editing the videos. Here you get like five pieces of geran germanium. Finish upgrading our shield. And then maybe go pick a fight. I don't know. We'll have to see how long the video is. Giants look cool. They all got the atmosphere with the swirly clouds and rings. How could it not? Yeah. Since we're here and close, let's go ahead and surface scan it. Twenty one right there. 
right there. I don't think it's gonna stand at all though. Definitely not. Need eight percent more. Oh my god. Bad boy too. So I haven't done much surface mining or surface resource gathering. So I've seen outcrops. Although you, I still did have to use a like a laser to get them, but just little rocks on the on the ground that you break them to pieces, and then you resource falls on the ground. But I've been on planets and gathered resources from missions and stuff. Then I completed the, the training simulations. Those were cool. This is a really nice game and I can't believe it's so old. Nice graphics and, and everything. What's really cool is how it, is that it's so much of a simulation um, that you, could, you lose a lot of your audience because um, it's too boring and realistic. People like arcade, flashy stuff that's like fa fantasy or science fiction. So they, they got these bright, super high-tech menus and cockpit and HUDs and radar and everything looks all super cool to make up for the boring simulation aspect of it. Wow, do we really, what is the deal with this planet? Why is it going so slow? Oh, we pro I bet you we can't land on this. Did I select the wrong planet? I think I did. Yeah, I selected the wrong planet. We're supposed to be going here, right? Germanium, yep, that's now I got the wrong planet. Stuck in the gravity. Icy body. I mean, rock. Yeah, icy body. We're gonna land on icy body and collect germanium. Ain't that something? Forty-eight geological signals on this bad boy. It's got water geysers. No atmosphere. It's the gravity. One one twelfth. One tenth of the. No, it's one twelfth of the Earth's gravity. What happened? Where did it go? Did it bounce off? Dang. Is this it? No, this ain't it. Why did it slip away? It's the wrong planet. Nine A. That's not nine A. Where did it go? Okay, there we go. Be 
shouldn't get lost like that when you're in the menu I don't know what happens I think maybe the direction buttons that you're pressing to move through the menus move your spaceship around I know they made it so that you're supposed to be able to they wanted to make it so you're I bet you they had, they had a mind to make it to where you could do both at the same time. That's why it doesn't pause, you know? Your spaceship still flies while you're traveling, so you can choose it. Look at the menus and pass the time. They must have forgot that your direction buttons control your spaceship at the same time they're controlling the menus. We can look for signals now, I think. You have to get in the orbit or something. Bases and settlements identified that are on the planet. So we should be seeing geological signals. This is the right planet. Yeah. Crew 9A, Crew 9A. That's where we're at. I don't see any signals, geological signals. What points of interest? No. Conflict zones. About contacts, you know. Do we really have to fly along the surface to find them? Should, should be showing up now. Geological signals, but I don't see them. Let's turn on night vision. That's way better. No geological signals. No geological signals. Selected on the planet. We're only a kilometer and a half above the surface, we should be getting signals. Understand. There we go, or something. Bet you that's a spaceship, though. Shoot it up and want. There's nobody out here to help me. It's clean now, so we won't do it. I have a bad feeling I'm not doing something right or I made a mistake. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to land. signals by the way.
signals, I don't know what the deal is. No contacts and no signals. And it's supposed to have water geysers, I don't see it. And it's an icy body with water geysers and 48 geological signals, but I don't see anything. So I'm gonna have to get up, go back in a spaceship and just fly around it and see if we can find any. I'm heading back to the spaceship. Game's wasting my time. Gotta go all the way back in outside of the gravity to circle it and see if we can't find any signals. Can't find any signals. I don't know why we can't go faster. I think if we go in the blue, it'll go back into the crab orbit. Oh, I know why we're not getting any signals. Got a surface scan. Only needs four. One in the front. One on the back. One on the top. One on the bottom. Now we can land on this bad boy. Scan it right. I know it's all the way scan seventy eight. Messed up on the back. Surface scan 
There we go, 48 geological signals. Awesome, right there. Number 41, here we come. There they are. Completely forgot about that. Smash! to Germania, Germania. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Better slow down. There's the water geysers too. Awesome. Three hundred meters. good this game is, how well it's made, and how good the graphics are, and how old it is. Well, there's also almost zero loading screens. How is that a game this old, this nice, can have no loading screens? Insane. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one who appreciates stuff, like the PlayStation 5, this game. These are really remarkable things that people made. Simone don't want it. So I'm not gonna get it. Crystalline cluster. Maybe if I scan these things, the composition scanner, I can find out what minerals they have in them. That's what composition means. Tell me what's inside it. Oh, wrong button, wrong button. Tell me what's inside this bad boy. Well, what was in it? Oh, that data link scanner. Why ain't the composition scanner working? Selenium. 
We only have two cargo slots on the SRV, so we gotta be selective. PS cobble. sites. 900 kilometers. Actually about 2,000 kilometers. Or 200. I can take everything. These are materials. I forgot. I can take all the materials. They don't take up any cargo space. Why isn't my cargo scoop out? I can take you, carbon. I can take everything. See, inventory empty. That's awesome. Thing we
hate it when it's on the back. Selenium. Check the map and see if we can buy some geranium from somewhere. That might be a little quicker. That's crazy. I wonder why I didn't drop the ladder down this time. Oh, it's in the front. Okay. No cargo to transfer. Or ship. I'm actually just going to check this system for manganese, and if there's not, I mean, geranium. It's not in this system, I'm just going to end the video because 
we wasted enough time already, but at least we got to finish unlocking the engineer. Go to that filter, go to the commodities, go to metals, I think. No, minerals. Minerals, that's what it is. Minerals. Germanium. No, not germanium in here. No, okay, let's check, check metals again. Gold galleon, no, germanium. Textiles, no. Industrial materials, no. Chemicals, no. I guess we can't buy germanium. I've seen one other thing that we couldn't buy in a mission. That's why it's a material you can't buy it. Alright, well, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you, it helped me a lot. It helped me out a lot if you could like, subscribe, and comment. And come watch some more of my videos. See ya.